Hello there. For those of you who don't know, um, I'm Janice and I'm a volunteer at the hospice on a Friday. Um, and this is the start of my story, which began as a set of traffic lights. The first time it happened, I was about eight and I was travelling in the family car. In the back, my brother and I had designated sides, our territory defined by the leatherette armrest, which was always put down firmly between us, lest either should inadvertently sprawl beyond our jurisdiction. So my view was the familiar one at the back of my mother's head. I was always secretly glad to be the one behind her, out of her field of vision and scope of her judgmental eye. Car trips could get tetchy, so safest out of view. The familiar profile of my dad was behind the driver's seat, eyes front, concentrating on the traffic, keeping us all safe. And my brother to my right, two years my elder, quiet and thoughtful, holding his packet of polo mints, prescribed by my mother to stave off his travel sickness. I was bored. The mood was dreary, the weather was dreary, and the car slowed to a halt at a traffic light. The engine idled. I gazed mindlessly out of the window, and that's when it happened. Suddenly and quite unexpectedly, I found myself out of my body, floating over the clock tower of the building opposite. I was looking down at our grey Triumph 2000, sitting at the traffic lights with us in it. I felt slightly alarmed, but the floating sensation wasn't unpleasant. I felt sort of spacious, and I can remember looking down, trying to make sense of this strange turn of events. As I looked down again, I thought, what if the traffic lights changed to green? Gripped suddenly with a, fear, with a sudden panic that I would be left behind, abandoned 40 feet above a road junction, I snapped back into my body. Wide-eyed and heart-thumping, I was back in my seat. I looked furtively at the backs of Mum and Dad, terrified I'd be in trouble, but strangely they didn't seem to have noticed. I remember pushing my head as far back as possible into the car seat so I could just swivel my eyes to look at my brother. Had he noticed my absence? Apparently not. He was just as I'd left him. I seemed to have got away with it. If Mum knew, I'd have been in big trouble. Big trouble for getting out of the car and ridiculed for talking nonsense. There was nothing to be gained from mentioning it, so I didn't. I just sat there, slightly awestruck, and rooted to my grey leatherette seat. To my eight-year-old self, it was a mysterious secret. <laughs>